Hello, MacWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online. Today, guys, we are playing the Shadowcat. And we are playing an unusual Shadowcat because I wanted to see what you can do with the other hard points than energy and ECM hard points. So we are going to take the P variant out today and the P variant completely. So we're going to take all of these beautiful ballistic hard points and we're going to put them to good use. My build revolves around an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 on the right arm with three tons of ammo. Quick side note, the first game had a double heatsink and only two tons of ammo. In the second game, I put another one in, so I had a bit more sustain. And we also have six light machine guns on the other side with two tons of ammo, and that is basically it. No ECM, no nothing. We are going in with ballistics uh, because this thing here is actually quite interesting when you use all of these hard points. First of all, we get a Gauss cooldown bonus, which we completely ignore, but we have a ballistic cooldown bonus of 20%, ballistic range 10, a regular cooldown bonus of 7.5, so we have 20.5 for our ultra auto cannon already, and we have a range bonus as well. And what's kind of interesting here is that we also have an ammunition bonus, which means we don't need to pick that much ammo for um, the guns to be efficient. And, you know, three tons is absolutely fine for that single Ultra Auto Cannon 10. On top of that, a little bit of armor, and uh, that is basically it. So what we have here is a mech that shoots its Ultra Auto Cannon at 1.5 seconds until it jams. <laughs> that is it. Um, in order to bump up our damage, we also run the light machine guns, and with all of the range buffs that we get, these things fire at about 470 meters range optimal. So we can be in the middle of the fight or we can be slightly outside of it and shoot into it and this is our preferred position we still have the amazing speed we still have the jump jets we still have the mask which means that we can position ourselves very very well yes we will be seen on the enemy sensors but again positioning helps out a ton um you don't necessarily need ecm so this is what we are trying to get done today. Just staying alive by having a good battlefield awareness and then just dumping our auto cannon damage into the fight and using our light machine guns to basically snipe out the crits on the enemy's open components. In order to get all of this done, I'm running a lot of cooldown here for my single auto cannon. Cooldown doesn't sadly affect the machine guns. It's like a rate of fire weapon, so... Uh, it doesn't benefit from any cooldown, but uh, the auto cannon will, so we're gonna take that. We have a lot more range even, because again, I want it to be somewhat safe and I don't want to be too close in order to deal my optimal damage. Therefore, range bonus here. Velocity helps us out a ton with our auto cannon shots and then magazine capacity as well as the UAC uh, jam duration modifier of 15%. So when we jam, we unjam 15% faster. And then there's one leftover heat point that I put in there just for the auto cannon. We also have skeletal density and armor hardening maxed out. Again, we are kind of exposed to our enemies, so they will shoot us. And in order to absorb a bit, that's kind of nice. And then I went for speed tweak. I wanted to go as fast as possible. Playing a bunch of games, I think what I rather want is this here. I want lift speed and I want vent calibration and I want the shock absorbance probably, like, like two nodes at the very least. So I have a bit better vertical mobility. I don't need horizontal mobility so much. Again, we have range, so we don't need to get like super close to the enemy and then pull back. We can just maneuver around where we want and vent calibration as well as lift speed is actually quite nice. Take a bit of radar deprivation to break locks and then double UAV plus double artillery because we don't care about heat on this mech. This thing is completely ballistic and we will be fine in terms of heat management. And that's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty guys, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Hibernal Rift. Let's go. We want to probably go to the circle since we're fast. We have the mask and, you know, we're gonna try to just get our timer going. We've got a flea with us, which is providing some ECM if I can stay close to him. And the enemies already have the circle. Alright, quick jump. Check it out. Nothing here. Good. Uh, they're probably in the Charlie 3 area, so we will, we will make... Oh, you got hit, buddy. That's a, that's a good shot there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep our... Ooh, I wanted to say pressure up. Um, but yeah, I think this is my spot. Let's go around here. Enemies are already... Hello. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go now. Yep. Stay in the low ground. Zip, zap, zomp, and here we go. New target 
So, we have a position. I don't know if it's the best position in the world, but there was a Madcat Mark II, and I don't want to face that thing alone. Problem is... Well, actually, not problem, but the good news is, actually, good news is we, we got some support. Okay, uh, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. They got a UAV. Uh, I dropped artillery, though, and we got a lot of range, so... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, we have the peaker's advantage, so if we go... <laughs> if we don't have any jump juice, then that's not an advantage at all. Come on. There we go. Um, so that means we... Uh, the enemies won't know where we are coming from. And they're... Them adjusting to us is harder than us adjusting to them. Okay, let's go back. And move up again. Jump up! Oh, he's down. That's a problem. Again, don't want to face them directly. We want to be in the flank. But if we can somehow distract them, I'd be in a very happy place. Come on. We got a friend there. Um, artillery would have been great in that position. Let's say aggressive, though. Aggref aggressive? We're going to stay aggressive. Okay, Hardy out on the Warlord. There is another Madcat. Uh, where to go? Okay. I uh, want to try to stay behind him. He might... Uh oh Yeah. He might be killable. Getting some criticals here. Okay, we're jammed. That means we got to go now. That's for sure. Mm, the question is where to. Let's go over here. And mask it up. Come on, we can push, we can push, we can push. Uh, people are already moving down there. Where's Atlas? Where is Madcat? Where is everybody? There's a guy. Ah, crap. Crap, crap. R got a rifleman problem here. Jumping over. Uh, they still have the Madcat there. And we want to stay on... Yeah, the cat. Uh-huh. Got some problems. Let's go. Let's stay out of this fight for the moment. For just a little moment, though. I can shoot you. <laughs> I have the range. I actually have the range. Okay, in again. Ah, jammed again. It's kind of bad. Also, I am so soaked up on damage already. Uh, I could not... I should not be that that aggressive anymore. Let's move around. It's, uh... Actually... I mean, damage is damage, even if it's to the legs. Uh, speaking of lag, I think I'm lagging a little bit. Oh, hello, Rifleman. Oh, you want to face me? Go face me. I got some damage as well, and I got mobility. That's a thing that you don't have a lot of. Okay, move around again. Where am I? I'm here, and we got the kill on you, because we also got friends. That's the secret sauce, man. That's the absolute secret sauce. Who is uh, attacking us here? Golf. An Arctic Streak Wolf. Blech. Not good. Took a lot of leg damage in that maneuver. Uh, we are 5 and 4. This game is not over. And technically I want to go for bigger boys. So we're gonna ignore the Arctic Wolf. He can actually hurt me a lot. Alright. There's the big boy. There's another big boy. What a laser wash. They were ready for it. Why? Why were they ready for it? He is not. Oh, he is, he is. He's AFK. Let's not shoot AFKs. Stay out of range. Blah, 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 blah. Machine guns. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's down. So, somebody was down here attacking us earlier. Incoming missiles. I think he's dead already. Um... Yeah, let's get the Belial out of the way. Okay, he's down. Ten and five, looking good. So, the last one. Hatchet Man and then probably the Arctic Wolf, who might have survived this encounter with the flea because he was a streak boat. Um, Hatchet Man is basically dead. Where is the last guy? He is not in a circle. Huh. He's not in a circle. What does that mean? By the way, look at my damage silhouette. My paper doll. It's so crazy. It's red and orange everywhere. But we are still hanging on to our dear life. Oh, I found him. Oh, it is the Arctic Wolf. This guy could actually be problematic for me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna try to take him. It's not gonna be easy. My machine guns are down now. Friends? Friends? <laughs> 
they were not coming. I mean, again, I said it earlier, I should disengage from the Arctic Wolf because he is lethal to me. And you could see, it happened. A 1v1 against that guy was really hard to pull off. I had to basically stay all the time behind him somehow or try to break the locks, but I probably had like retention and everything. But anyways, guys, we dealt 745 damage. We got 1k MDD. We soaked 590. It's crazy. That was a fun game. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty guys, second game of the day, we're playing the Mining Collective, we're playing Conquest, and since we are really fast mech, I wanna quickly go and grab Kappa, and then we're gonna join the fight later. So, over here, masking it up like a boss, 130 kph, and this is where we're gonna stop pressing that button, because I don't wanna take any leg damage, not necessarily. We also got a friend with us, which is a Stormcrow, hello. Hello? Say hello to me. He is not saying hello to me, but hey, we got Kappa. Enemies are on Epsilon, Theta and Sigma at the same time. That is kind of crazy, man. But yeah, Kappa has been kept, so we are running away from this. I don't want to be shot by the enemies early on. So let's meet up with the team in the center somehow, somewhere. I'm gonna quickly check if somebody's coming. Having a bit of verticality as well as a horizontal movement is really good when trying to avoid enemy fire. Okay, so this is gonna be our gauntlet. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, here they are. Here they are. Nah. I, I just... I, I just tried. I tried hard. So, yeah, meeting up with the team is my first and foremost goal. There is a UAV. Should I take it? I probably should. Where? Come on. Okay. So we could also use our machine guns. That is a thing that I completely forget all the time. Um, but, yeah, I think cover is more important than anything. Mm, no, it's not. We have a Stormcrow engaged. Um, yeah, cover is very important. Okay, 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 let's run. Okay, push the Warhammer back and run! Took a good chunk of damage already, 5% of my armor gone. And here we go. Where's everybody? It's just a Mad Cat, huh? One Mad Cat only? Okay, where are my enemies? They are probably in the center of the map. Mad Cat is not dead yet. So let's make him dead. Make him go away. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, there's a UAV, so he knows. Uh, try to be above him. Um, yeah, we got the power of friendship helping us out as well, and we are behind him now. So let's get the kill and then get out of here. Actually, let's go night vision. Yeah, they are already. Artillery, let's go. Let's -a go. They also have a skirmisher there. And we are jammed. Okay, so we gotta wait to unjam until we can do a thing again. Let's pop our UAV right here. Jump up. Get some damage on the D-Wolf. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Repositioning. Okay, that Dire Wolf needs to go and we're gonna take care of that right now. I know that there's another guy. Um, pushing forward and back. Blood Asp. Okay, he's also very killable. Push it! Push it real good! All right, and the Blood Us right side also was damaged. So we're gonna take that real quick, mess with his heat management, and get the kill. Or maybe not. <laughs> All right, push forward. Let's go. We're gonna try to flank this. This is an SRM... Damn it. Got blocked here. Uh, SRM thing. Catapult. Oh, there's a, there's a wolf out. Hey, cat. How are you doing? Um, yeah. I mean, we are kind of winning this fight, big time. Hi. What about you? Oh, you're dead. You are? I got the kill, finally. Um, 10 and 2. Looking pretty good. Where did the wolfhound go? Where did the catapult go? Ca what is going on today? Whoa, did you see that elevation that I got all of a sudden? That's so weird, man. I think they went like here. Um, so let's try to find them somehow. There they are. Your SRMs, huh? Try to dodge it. And... Oh god, they got so backblasted here. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry, but you're dead now. Let's, uh, find the Wolfhound. He's the last guy. Question is, where is he? Where is he? There's a stealth Wolfhound somewhere. Okay, so if I was a wolfhound, where would I go? Oh, 
There was a pip. I heard a pip. Is somebody fighting? Uh oh. I think I'm gonna take some leg damage again, but that's alright. I mean, we are in the late stages of the fight. It's gonna be totally fine. I don't see him, though. Again, a pip. There he is! And we got him in the end. John McFuzzy. I think he got a lot of kills in the end. Mr. McFuzzy, well done. Well done. So as soon as I think we have counter capped Sigma, we gonna have it in the back. I don't know if we actually have to go there. But hey, that was a fun little skirmish. Excellent work, Warriors. That was good. We got our kill in the end against the Vapor Eagle, so that was really nice. And man, did we set those Assault Mechs under pressure. The Dire Wolf, the Blood Ass, holy crap, they had nowhere to go. That was cool. And then the kill of the of the catapult in the end. We only dealt 465 damage, but we got a KMDD and a killing blow. And when we take a look at all of these numbers here, yeah, that's what I thought. Very even spread. Everybody was doing their part. So there was no like exceptional like one MVP here, which is really nice. I like that. So guys, that has been it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.